coast. They saw KD today. L.A. is on the brink of elimination, but keep in mind, LeBron has the most points per game when facing elimination, even more than MJ and Will. Game six in Staples. So, Laker faithful will be in full effect. As for Anthony Davis, he's a question mark with the groin, and of course, CP3 battling that shoulder. Stephen A., what version of LeBron do you need to see? Oh, is this for me or Max, Molly? I'm sorry. For you. It's okay. for you. Um, I don't want to hear anything from LeBron James tonight in terms of being passive. I don't give a damn if he shoots 0 for 40. You got to go down swinging because there's very, it's very possible that they may go down tonight. Phoenix is no joke, y'all. They ain't playing. And I knew that the Lakers were going to get were gonna get beat the other night. I didn't think they were going to get annihilated by 30 in the first half. But I definitely knew they were going to lose game five because how that team feeds off of that crowd is something special. And then when you take into account how we saw them perform on the road, I got to give credit where credit is due. They got some young thoroughbreds that go after it. And they firmly believe they can beat these Lakers. Listen, they respect LeBron. They respect Anthony Davis. They understand how elite those dudes are when healthy. They ain't worried about nobody else on the Lakers. They don't feel anybody else on the Lakers can mess with them. And their whole thing is Anthony Davis is hobbled. Let's try and neutralize LeBron. LeBron got to go out there and be like a man possessed. Why is 40% of your shots from three-point range? Why? Why is that? Go in the paint. Go in the hole. You 6'9". You healthy, you 6'9", not healthy completely, but healthy enough. You 6'9", 260. You're bigger and stronger than most. Obviously faster than most as well. You're the modern day version of Superman. Go up in there, take Jay Crowder or whomever else in the post, get to the free throw line, do what you gotta do to be that man amongst boys and handle your business. That's what LeBron should be doing because let me tell you something, that's their only hope. KCP, he ate 100% and 15 minutes, he didn't give you anything. Dennis Schroeder should be ashamed of himself. Ashamed of himself. A donut, zero points, and you play over 26 minutes? What the hell is wrong with you? Kyle Kuzma was the only dude that came off the bench. And by the way, Anthony Davis, this is a delicate situation, Max and Molly. And Max, you know me when I tell you what, what, I'm, what, what I'm hearing. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, everyone read between the, the lines. This is one of those moments, okay? Anthony Davis, no one, we all love Anthony Davis, respect the unibrow, the hell he's one healthy, one of the greatest players in the world. Here's the deal. No one is questioning the legitimacy of Anthony Davis's injury. We all know he's hurt. We know that if he could play, he'll play. But tonight, with the season on the line, People are looking at him with a raised eyebrow. And here's why. No pun intended. Here's why. Because what are you doing with your body in the offseason? What are you doing during the season to take care of yourself so you don't find yourself in these kind of situations? Because he's perpetually injured all the time. That's how people are looking at him. So tonight, they, everybody knows he's not going to be 100%. The question is, can you go? LeBron James is out there by himself. You going to go out there and help your brother? Because I'm telling you right now, nobody wants to hear, well, I need to be cleared by team doctors. Ain't nobody trying to hear that. I can tell you that. They ain't trying to hear it. They're looking at him like, you make that damn call. Season's on the line. Well, what you going to do if you can't go? You can't go. And we ain't questioning his injury. We question whether or not you can play through it to help your brother because LeBron James got a battle of his life right here waiting for him tonight in Phoenix. They coming. First of all, the reason LeBron's taking so many outside shots, Stephen A., as you know, is too, many, too much traffic in the paint. And that's because they have no respect for the Lakers shooters. And why should they? Lakers shooters have not been hitting shots. Dennis Schroeder, it was a no-show. First, Stephen A., I just talked about it yesterday. First Laker in history, first L.A. Laker since they moved to L.A., first Los Angeles Laker in history in the playoffs to attempt at least nine shots have zero points. So why would the Suns respect the Lakers shooters? But here's the thing. LeBron's got to be great, obviously. If LeBron's not great, they can't win. I'm with you on A.D. If A.D. can go at all, he, he, he's got to try. But here's the thing. Chris Paul 
is not Chris Paul right now. Now, the end of that game, his shoulder looked like it was hanging on by a thread. He was, it looked like to, he was in excruciating pain, like he was not the same guy. And while it's not a lower extremity, so he can actually walk out onto the court, he can run around, I don't think we can expect him to be the Chris Paul who can help carry a team. So what does that mean? That means I'm looking at Devin Booker. And I said this going into the series. I thought there may come a time where LeBron on a bad ankle and all has to do something about Devin Booker defensively. And I think the time may have come. One thing I know for sure is obviously LeBron must be the best player on the floor. You can say, well, yeah, of course. Uh -huh. That wasn't the case in game one. Booker came out, saw LeBron, AD, and Chris Paul. He was the best player on the floor. LeBron must be the best player in the game. And if he can be, Stephen A., once you start thinking, well, take the real AD off the Lakers. Okay, take the real Chris Paul off the Suns. Lakers can win this game. Lakers can win this game. They better win this game. I assume there will be a game seven. And I'm not running from that because I think LeBron on his home court tonight is going to be a monster. He has to be. He has to show up. Uh, but I just I emphasize the fact that, again, while others got to show up, all eyes are on Anthony Davis right now. Listen, again, nobody's questioning that he's injured. Nobody. We wouldn't do that to that brother. You know, he's not that kind of man. If he can play, you know, it, he wants to be out there. He wants to play. But I'm just telling you. People are looking at him like, okay, what do you do to take care of yourself during the season? Do you stretch enough? What are you doing to take care of yourself during the offseason? Remember, he came on first take over a year, about a year ago. And what did he say? He said, listen, there were people that were questioning me, you know, and talking about I was a bit frail and what have you. So I was in that gym, got bigger, got stronger. I'm ready for the run. And then he backed it up and went in the NBA Finals. It could have easily been the NBA Finals MVP with his numbers averaging 30 and doing what he did. But the flip side is now it's reverted back to form. And all year long, people haven't liked the body language of the Lakers. They felt that the Lakers were a bit too comfortable feeling themselves, rightfully so. They're the reigning defending champions. So the mentality was we did it. We already accomplished that goal. We got the Lakers back to relevancy, blah, blah, blah. We ain't got nothing to worry about. We'll see y'all come playoff time. And all year long, people were lamenting the kind of attitude that they were walking around with. And so now that you see guys hurt, what's bringing in the question is, well, how are you living? You in La La. You in Southern California. Chilling as the reigning defending NBA champions. You know what? Were you putting in that work to make sure you were ready to defend your crown? Or did you just take it for granted? Because that's what you're seeing when you see all of these health issues prop up with dudes. And that's what people are talking about. LeBron James, true to form, somehow, some way, no matter what, physically, always ready. Always ready. Because he and that Jimmy putting in that work. Nobody's questioned that about him. They starting to question it about other people. And they looking at the Los Angeles Lakers with a raised eyebrow, no pun intended. And Cat's going to have to answer the call. I'm just telling you. All right. Uh, yeah, uh, to your point, AD has had eight different injuries this season. But uh, LeBron, everyone's saying he needs to have at least 30 points. He hasn't had a 30-point game since March 18th. We'll see if he gets wow. the J-O-B done tonight, fellas. He will tonight. We'll keep it rolling.